here to Florida, you positively ignored me. I never saw anything like it. You men are all alike. But well, I think you're a naughty, mean man to make poor ear to me cold. And I'm not going to let you go without me. Oh, boy, boy. Bring my wife around. without one of these guys trying to flirt with you? Huh? Oh. Now, if any of these birds annoy you, just let me know. Yes, I'll be here. Gee, did you see what he did to that poor fellow? Boy, that house detective's wife is going to get some poor guy murdered. She'll flirt with anybody that wears pants. <laughs> Not me, little bright eyes. Oh, yeah. Hey, you. Is there a gig by the name of J. Effington Bellwether camping in this joint? Mr. Bellwether is out. Well, he'll be out like a light if he don't come through with the 40 bucks he owes me for taking him out in his fishing boat. Why, the chisel's been giving me the runaround for me, too. And I'm gonna take it out of his hide. You tell the big lob that. Mr. Bellwether is a guest in this hotel. I can't deliver any such message. But if you care to, you can leave him a note. Well, uh, I broke my tongue. Oh, uh, will you just write it out for me? Certainly, with pleasure. Well, come in, sir. Dear Mr. Bellwether, listen, you four flushing horse collar. If you don't come through with the jack you owe me, I'll knock your sappy looking block off. There ain't no heel like you gonna put nothing over on me without getting a knuckle massage. <laughs> Affectionately yours, Deep C. McGoik, alias the Slaughterhouse Kid. Finny. You know, uh, don't forget and give that baloney bow by the left. Okay. Hey, ho. <laughs> Happy days are here. Hello, Walter. How do you do, Mr. Bellwether? Any uh, telegrams, cablegrams, radios, television? Yes, sir. Yeah? A little note. A little note. Oh, thank you, Walter. Thank you, my bonny boy. Dearly and Bellwether, Happy days are here. Dangerous things, those lighters. I bought one in Copenhagen one time. It was a combination cigar lighter and matchbox. The matches were very good. Hello, master. Uh, hello, little boy. Can I'm... you give me the silver? Oh, it's a little girl. Hello, little girl. How old are you? Five years old. Five years old. Will you? I'll give you a dollar to put in your bag, if you'll sing me a song. Give me the dollar, thanks! Ah, uh, you're more than five. Go on, get out of here. Ah, uh, come on, 
Come on, Sam. Who's Craig? Get away. I don't care. I got $50 in my bank already. You have $50 in your bank? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Probably has a pin sticking in her. Yeah. Well, Wasn't well, Mr. Bellwether, what are you doing down in Florida? Oh, I was uh, just negotiating for a bank. That's your little girl? I don't know whose little girl it is, but she's trying to get money out of me. <laughs> she's a wonderful little child, though. I was just playing with her silken hair. You just as chill and beautiful. I can lift her up by her hair if I want to. She's as gay as a pebble. Oh, look, look at that. Isn't it wonderful? It really is remarkable. It's light as a feather. Right? Oh, look me up. Look me up. He wants me to do it again. You know, it really is something to be proud of. Yes, it's marvelous, you little meat shoe. You wonderful little girl. Once you lift her away, once we can show it to everybody in the hotel. Look. Why, it's little. Say, was that guy trying to flirt with you? Who? Oh, you big silly. There hasn't been a man anywhere near me. Oh, don't try to kid me. If I catch him playing around you again, I'll pulverize him. Oh, you're such a big brute. Now, if any of these fellows make any wise cracks to you, just tip me off. All right, Daddy dear. How do you do? Oh. <laughs> oh, I think you were rather silly of me, wasn't it? No, was that your father? Oh, no. And he was about to strike you? Well, perhaps he would have if you hadn't been here. Why, the big, great, hulking brute. You know, I've never struck a woman in my life. You haven't? Not even my own mother. Oh, I could see that you were the very soul of kindness. Oh, I'm very kind, but of course I can be cruel if needs be. You can. Oh, a veritable tiger. Oh, but you have courage written all over you. It's the laundry box, dear. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're going to play golf. Yeah. Oh, it must be wonderfully romantic and secluded out on the golf course. Oh, course. it's a marvelous game. I'm going to play this afternoon myself. Would you like to join me? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, do you play? Oh, no. I wouldn't even know which end of the caddy to you. Oh, but you do know something about it. Permit me. Thank you. Why did you love me out here? So nice and green and Yes, everything. it is. Rather parky this morning, though. Mm -hmm. I have never been off to the crowded golf course in all my life. You little sissy. Did you bring a ball with you? Wonderful. Now stay in clear and keep your eye on the ball. Everything is formed. Mm -hmm. This is what they call the explosion shot from the team. Ah! It won't hurt you. It won't hurt you at all. Oh. Fair, fair boy. Wrong club. What? Wrong club. Try this putting niblick. A putting niblick? <laughs> <laughs> really, the little chap doesn't understand the nomenclature of the game. Now, stand clear, boy. Keep your eye on the ball. I have it. It's all right. Stand here. Sir. <coughs> uh, all right. Come here. Stand back here. He gets all hot and bothered about nothing. I lost a really dear friend in the Canary Islands. Money. What are you doing with a club like this in the bag? Don't play with these clubs. I lost a really dear friend in the Canary Islands many years ago. How oh, dreadful. That's the name of Pumphrey Total Whistle. Oh, what a funny name. Uh, it's one of the Total Whistles from Twickingham. If you've ever been to Twickingham, they're a very old family. People that really matter. Oh, oh, oh. Stop it, will you? Oh. Oh, quite a driver. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Mm. <laughs> uh. mm. 
Yes, we lost all four of the whistles in the Canary Islands. He was kicked to death. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, kicked to death by two infuriated canary birds. Oh, is that? Someone has been feeding them meat. I haven't... Strange about this world? Yes, it does look rather odd. Yeah. I think the shaft is warped. Give me another bite. Ah, that's better. Uh, that's much better. Yes. Now stand here, boy, and keep your eye on the ball. This is what they call hitting past the field as I pull you the ball. Really remarkable stuff. Well, that's better. Yeah. Not here after all. A pie. Fancy bringing a pie to a golf course. A pint, yes. But a pie, never. Why, it's like, uh, it's like carrying, carrying, uh, something or other. Somewhere or other, as the case may be. Please stand clear and keep your eye on this ball. Stand fair, boy, keep your eye on the ball. Stand fair. Quite a breeze. Yes, there is quite a breeze. Yes, yes there is. Quite a breeze. Yeah. Here's your overcoat. Now stand clear, boy, and keep your eye on the ball. Thank you, Shane. This is hitting past the chin. Yeah. Hitting as far past the chin as possible. You can never stand close to the ball when you hit it up you hit it. Sounds like one of those birds that fly backwards. Oh. Stand clear, Lloyd, like fly on the ball. Coming this way. I was saying, it requires a great deal of quiet nerve and slow sticking. You stand still and keep your eye on the ball. I'm sorry to get lose my temper, huh? What is it? Oh, Godfrey Daniel. or chop soy or whatever it is they have there, so much else. Vice said I'd like to wring your neck. I'd like to wash it first and then give it a good ring. Give it a ring that heal for miles. Miles. Let me take that out for you. Thank you. We'll put it in there. Right. 
is really disgusting. Oh, it's terrible. I'm sorry that you had to see this. Is it all right? Mm -hmm. Now, stand there and keep your eye on the ball. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, How are you? The Sheriff is looking for Mr. Bellwether. Ooh. Well, where is he? He's out playing golf with your wife. With my wife? Come on, holy smoke, let's go. There it is. Huh? There. Where? On the end of your club. Oh. So it oh, is, so it is. is. Yeah. What an eye he has. Mm. And you stand here and keep your eye on the ball. Oh, I've forgotten something. Huh? Oh. Probably forgotten her horse. Well, I won't need it anyway. Won't need a horse. Want to ride it? I won't need it either. Here's a club for you for short holes. Now stand clear. Keep your eye on the ball. I lost a horse one time. I forgot him. I left him down the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. That's a beautiful camel you have with you. Now stand clear, boy. Don't stand there. Don't you know I'll smite you in the sconce with this truncheon? Oh, that's a shame. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. You stay clear and keep your eye on this ball. I was saying this is hitting past the chin. Mm -hmm. Stand clear, boy. up here. All right. Now stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Another thing I forgot to tell you was, keep the wrists together. Never let the wrists separate. Take the club back slowly. Yeah, yeah. I was saying before, you've got to keep the wrists close together. Never let the wrists... Keep the wrists close together. Close together. Never let the wrists separate. Keep them close together. Keep the wrists close together.
Where are my glasses? They're on your head. Oh. Yeah. Right. Where's the newspaper? You're sitting on it. Oh. That's all right. Land of Goshen, another baby. That's the domain, isn't it? Say. That's a funny one. Uh, uh, fifty pounds and chop it fine. Mrs. Uncle Buck, what do you mean, fifty pounds and chop it fine? Well, I thought you were Arthur. Who's Arthur? He's the man I intend to marry. Oh, well, don't tell me anything about it. I'm only your father. I can read in the newspaper. What does he do for a living? Well, he's the ice man. An ice man? Yeah, ice he goes to college. He's a Cornell man. Red Grange was an ice man. He's still an ice man as far as I'm concerned. Put him... Okay. So, I'm seven. Now you're so smart, how are you going to get it in the ice box? I'll put it in myself. Listen, don't ever do that. Back to me. <coughs> oh, <God>. <coughs> <coughs> I've been waiting for you. I'll meet you on the first tee. I'll be up over. Okay, Charlie, okay. I'll be over in a half a text. Okay, good night. What's my first appointment this morning? Miss Pippitone at 10.30. Well, I just have time for 18 holes. Where's my cap? You never wear any. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where's the ice? The ice box. There's just a little piece left. Now I'll have to get some more. Yeah, keep that ice man out of here. I'm going to order a fridge of air. That's mine. Oh, yeah. Well, we can't look for it all day. We've been out of 20 minutes now, and I gotta get back to the office half past 10. I'm gonna drop another ball. Okay, drop another. If it isn't unfair, driver of you gentlemen, I can tell you where the ball is. Where? Under that one. Thanks. It isn't unfair to either one of us. We've been looking for the ball 20 minutes. Four. I'd wait a minute. They're still on the green. Well, let them get out of the way. This is certainly a great game for your health. ball lying in a sprinkler connection may be dropped without penalty, no nearer the hole. Get those teeth out of there, too. They're right in my line.
too. You can't do that. What you, do you mean I can't do it? Read the card. You had dropped in the wall. Well, don't. You, you had two. Don't quibble. Don't your... quibble. Don't quibble. Don't. Snappy little hole, don't you think so? Yes, it is. Go to Marcy Niblick. Marcy Niblick. Oh. 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 Uh, having a basket party over there? Look at those ducks. Oh. I was going to play golf when I was done with that. Don't stand there. Stand over here. Me off. Over again. Don't stand behind me when I'm shooting. You told me to stand over there, sir. Never mind where I told you to stand. You stand where I tell you. That kid's a dummy. Doesn't know what time it is. Hey, by the way, what time is it? I don't know. 10.15. Shut up, will you? Now stand clear and keep your eye on the ball. Oh, wait, you can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? I can do anything I want to do. Take this golf course and... Hello, Joe. Hi, Doc. How about a little golf? Uh, I just threw my clubs away. <laughs> what, again? Hey, the funniest thing happened. I'm taking my second stroke. I seen an old geezer on the sconce with my ball. Right near the green, was headed for the pin. The ball rolls back into a water connection. I pick it up, drop it over my shoulder. It dribbles down into the hole. I'm down in two. Well, uh... What do you mean, well? They gave me the same argument. I'm down in two. Look at the back of the car. They wanted me to do it over again after I had a fine drop. I right, said, well, I... Oh, no, I can't. Where's the soap? It's in your hand. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -huh. How about tomorrow, Doc? Well, uh, what time? Oh, about. No, I won't be able to go. Why not? I'm going duck shooting. Well, I'll run along. And I say, hey, boy, you should have been there. I took this mashy nimbly. I took this straight shot for the pin. It beams this old geezer. Down into the water connection it goes. Coming back. What the hell with that? Drops into the water connection. I pick it up and drop it over my shoulder and down into the hole it goes. Well, I'll give you a ring tomorrow, Doc. Okay. Well, they burn up. He's got a fried eggs on the back of his neck. Send her in. How do you know? Will you sit down? Put it in here, please. You won't hurt my legs, will you? My doctor says I have a very bad leg. Your doctor is off his nuts. I don't believe in doctors anyway. There's a doctor lives right down the street here. Treated a man for yellow jaundice for nine years. Then found out he was a Jap. You know, a little dog bit me Dr. the other Kulikar. day. Dr. Kulikar. He bit me right here. A dog bit you? Yes. It was a little black hound. Oh, yeah. A little tiny dog. Mm -hmm. Right up behind me and bit me right like that. Mm -hmm. And I was standing with my back to it, and here he was, this little dog, who mm -hmm. bit me right here. You're rather fortunate it wasn't a Newfoundland dog that bit you. Can you sit down? Shall I use gas? Well, gas for electric light. I'd feel nervous to have you fool around me in the dark. <laughs> Come 
Come on, come on now. I'll try not to be so cruel this time. Come on, come on. <laughs> She had a four o'clock appointment. Far when I was in Darjeeling, oh, it was tight, I tell you. Come on out. Don't go on out then. Come on out. Now they know. I know. I... We've been waiting for you. that I'm out, go out and tell them I'm out. Don't have these bubbles walk in on me. I'd one I don't want to see. Anyone Just come in for the ride. Haven't I seen your face somewhere before? Oh, probably you've seen me at the horse show. Jockey? Sir? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Can you open your mouth? Uh, come on now. You've got a bigger mouth than that opener. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. Hand me that uh, 404 circular buzz saw, will you? Mm -hmm. Dropping, 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 dropping. Is that a 404 conical you can me? Ah. Here's a tennis come here to see me, so I'm going to see him. Excuse me a moment, folks. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. Stay in there. Wow. What do you think of that? Keep you waiting. <laughs> you said a mouthful there. Uh, don't be a just, just a moment there. Uh, all your lines busy? Oh, God.
Why, it came out easily, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It was a surprise to me. Open your uh, open mouth. Uh, excuse me, just, uh... uh. Open that door! I can't. You locked me in. Where's the key? In your pocket. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna give her gas. I'm not gonna pull me all around the floor. Relax. Would you like a drink? What is it? Water. No, thanks. Female rats were gone? Yes, she's gone. Is he standing in a hole? No, he's just a little fella. Hmm. Send him in, I'll fix him. How do you do? How's everything up in Moscow? Got two strikes on the boys, eh? When you sit down. Thank you. I can't find his mouth. Hand me that stethoscope, will you? Thanks. Will you say ah, please? Ah. Again? Ah. Again? Ah. I almost had a cake again. Ah. Huh? Ah. 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 Thank you. Now, just open your mouth. Can't hurt. Okay. You can't say that hurt you. <laughs> Don't be silly. I got a lock in the room. But they're using a ladder. Where do you think you're going? That's him. Oh, you're the guy that hit my father in the head. Yeah, you want to make anything out of it? 
I'd like to see you do that again. Is it necessary for him to do it again? No, it isn't. Father, you're not really going to buy a sticky bear, are you? Fifty pounds will make it snappy. Salvation Army girl, and wickedly he broke her tambourine. All she said was, Heaven, heaven bless you, and place the mark upon his brow. With a kick she'd learned before she had been saved. Now, as a moral to young men, who come down to the city. Don't go around breaking people's tambourines. That certainly is a sad song. <laughs> Don't cry. 
cry, Constable. It is a sad <laughs> My Uncle Ichabod said, speaking of the city, it ain't no place for women, gal, but pretty men go there. <laughs> Always said something to make you split your sides of laughing. <laughs> I'm a cool old gentleman, he was. Well, I think I'll be a high tail and over the rim. And it ain't a fit night out on my mountain. <laughs> Find any gold out on the golf course? Well, that nougat thought it'd be on the table. A nougat? A golden nougat? Just what you've been a combing them bar hills for, for nigh on to 30 years. It must be worth almost a hundred dollars. It'll help to pay off the mortgage on the old shack. Has that pill from Medicine Hat been here again? Yes, and he wants more money. Right as high. He wants more money, and if he don't get it, he'll take our Malamute. You won't take old Balto, my lead dog. Why not, Paul? Because I had him. You had him? He was mighty good with mustard. We was a-mushing over Blind Nag Rim last night. I got mighty hungry. You better take your mucklocks off, Paul. Captain Pippitone of the Canadian Mounted smuggled a police dog across the border for you. Smuggled a police dog across the border for me? Yes, and he says for you to keep it under your hat. How big is it? About so high. He's crazy. Paul, oh, it's just three years today since they put our dear son in jail for stealing them our bonds. And I know he never stole them. Sure he never stole them. Our Chester never stole nothing. From nobody. 
Hardly ever. Do you think he'll come a-heading for home when they turn him loose from that plague of jail? I reckon Gerson Calculate he will, Ma.
Did you steal them bonds? Yes, Ma. I stole them bonds. I was a bank messenger, and they caught me fair and square. I wasn't framed. I know you stole them, but I never would admit it to your father. If he thought you stole them, it would break his poor old heart. Never tell him any different. Good night, Chester. Good night, Paul. And it ain't a fit night out, a man or beast. Just have gone to bed yet, Ma? I don't think so, Pa. Never tell her any difference. She thought you stole them. You'd break her poor old heart. Oh, it's so good to be home there. I'm going to stay here now with you and more for all time. Chester, have you any of them bonds on you? Or any of that money? No, Dad. I ain't got any of them bonds on me. And I took that painted money and threw it away. And then you came back to me as mother. Yes, Paul. Oh. Mm. The sponge on us the rest of this fight. You lucky. 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 You